Can we all stand together? Amen. It's going to be a unique day today. Our choir's coming right now, going to lead us in worship. But I want us to do this all across the sanctuary. In just a moment, we're going to lift a hand toward heaven and begin to worship God. But as they lead us, I know we're in a unique, we're just sort of jammed in here in our gym and we don't have much altar space and, and it's a little tight. But, but we're going to lift our hands. We're going to begin to worship God. As you begin to feel his presence while they're singing, I wish some of you just step out from where you're at and walk up to this altar and we just stand in this altar and worship him today. Can we do that? Amen. Why don't we lift a hand toward heaven and just welcome Jesus into this place. God, we love you. God, we thank you for your presence we've already felt in our classes. Thank you, Lord, for, for those we got to meet at breakfast today. Thank you, Lord, for the fact that you're always faithful to us and you're so good and you're so wonderful and you're so kind. God, as a church family, we need you right now. So we lift our hands in your sanctuary and we love you we magnify you and we give you glory and we give you honor we give you our best worship today God you deserve it you deserve our very best today so we lift our hands in your sanctuary and we worship you and we praise you can we give God a hand clap of praise as the choir leads us
that special prayer right now. We're going to take our needs before the Lord in just a moment, but we're going to have special prayer for the Dobbs family. If anyone doesn't know, last night Jonah was driving down Route 40, lost control of his car and wrecked, and he died. And we're grieving as a church today, but got to have prayers for the Dobbs family. Every parent here can just close your eyes and picture your child sitting in that car seat. I have no idea what they're going through today, but their church family is about to lift them up in prayer. So I want you to take the hand of someone close by and we're going to agree together that God would just begin to minister because this is a God thing. Only God can step in at this point. Only God can minister at this point. There's no right words. There's nothing anyone can say, nothing anyone can do. But only God can step in. So can we pray to him right now, Jesus, in your name, Lord. We lift up this family in our prayers. the blood of Jesus over the Dobbs family. We ask you to touch them right now. I pray for Aaron. I pray for Brandy. I pray for AJ. I pray for Noah. I pray for Daniel. I pray for Miranda. as you can on the screens. If you have a need in your body, a need in your life, step out and we're going to pray for you. Let's pray together. Can we do that? Jesus, in your name, Lord. God, I pray for every need in this house today. Every sickness, every hurt, every frustration. God, every name on the screen represents a need. I pray for Atlanta that you reach down. Touch her, heal her body. So many that are sick today. Oh God, I pray you'd heal them and raise them up. Lord Jesus, we ask you to move and minister. Every name on the screens, everyone that steps out for prayer. God, I pray there would be a special healing in this place. Because I know you're still the healer, and I know you're still the prayer answer, and I know you're the way maker. 
so we bring our needs before you right now and we love you in Jesus name
And I want us to do this. If I can give us just a little bit of direction in the altar. We're just filled with young people whose hearts are tender toward God right now. And if you would, I just want us to sort of spread out. I want us to move all across this altar. And I, all the saints of God, I want us to, to stand together. We're going to do something a little bit different. If we can just get, get some of our young people. We need to get, we're going to get other people to you. If you could come down maybe even as far as this second keyboard over here. If we could kind of walk this way and fan out and our girls and our guys. As they get in that spot, I want for some of our parents and some of our grandparents in our seats, I want you to step out from where you're at, and I want us to fill in behind them and in front of them, and we're going to pray God's hand on our, on our young people, our young adults, on our children, and we're going to pray, and we're going to ask God to move, we're going to ask God to to do what only he can do. We're going to ask God to, to protect them. We dedicated them. Most of these have been dedicated when they were when they were just babies. We're going to rededicate them to the Lord right now. And I want some saints of God to begin to step out. Even if you don't have a, a son or a daughter or a granddaughter or a grandson, I, I want some of you that know how to pray to step out and not just get behind them, but get in the middle of them and get in between them and Especially if you've got kids in this altar, I want you to, I want you to go find. And we're going to pray over our kids. We we'll pray, God, save our kids. God, you watch over our kids. God, you go where we can't go with them. So one more time, I want us to raise a hand toward heaven. Can we do that? And we're just going to pray. And as that anointing begins to fall on you, I want you to find somebody to pray for, and I want you to go and. And touch heaven for our, for our young people right now. For every young adult. That God would keep his hand on them. That God would save them. And if there's anybody in this room that you're not sure you're right with God right now. Now's the time. Go ahead and put it under the blood. Go ahead and lay that down and give that to God. We plead the blood of Jesus over every fusion student. We plead the blood of Jesus over every hyphen young adult. Don't let one be lost.
everything into worship. I wonder if even this we could just turn into worship. Right where you're seated, right where you're standing. Could we just lift a hand and worship? We trust you, God. We worship you, God.
one time, could we just give God a hand clap of praise? message I was going to call Tomorrow's Church, and I had intended at the end of that service to have our children and our students and our young adults line up across this altar for our par parents and ministers, family members to gather around them and pray for them, but it seems like God has jumped ahead on that. What a beautiful presence of the Lord in this place. I want to encourage you today. When service is done, if your family's close by, why don't we go have dinner with our family today? Why don't you hug your kids just a little bit tighter today? Why don't we thank God for our family? Why don't we thank God for the blessings that He's brought into our life? God, I thank you, Jesus. Thank you for my kids. Thank you for every blessing brought my way. Again, I know a lot of times our young people, they all pile in and go out together, which is awesome. But today, Jonas, you're going to be stuck go with us today. How about that? Why don't we find our parents? And if, if you know, and, and if you don't have family here, jump in with some of these families and, and go to somebody's house or go to a restaurant. Let's let's spend some time together as families and let's let's remember important that is and we're we're so thankful to God we just thank him and we just love him and there's a lot of stuff we had planned for today we had some great stuff if you'll come back next Sunday you're going to get to hear one of the coolest testimonies that I've ever heard happen at our church we're going to hear that today we're going to hear that next week you'll come back next next week Bishop Coleman He's going to have one more week to pray on that message. You know, it's going to be awesome. Amen. We're going, to have, we're going to have a great day. Amen. I believe God's going to do great things. To our guests, we're so glad that you're here. I got you. I'm, I will not forget the offering, Brother Paul. I will, uh, God forbid I forget that, man. But, but... All of our guests, we're so thankful you're here. I got to have guests with, I got to have breakfast with, with Peter and, and with Jocelyn and with Phoenix and with Cherie, that's, that's uh, Kevin's sister. So we had a great time at breakfast today. So we wanna give all of our guests. Uh, and if you'll come back next week, service is just a little tad different today. But if you'll come back next week, hopefully we'll be a little bit more normal and we'll have a great time. But stop by. We've got a nice gift we want to give you. We want to give you an invitation to come have breakfast with my wife and I next Sunday. I'll tell you this, and all of our life group leaders, listen up. We'll get with you. But everybody in life groups on, on this week, we had them scheduled for all different days of the week. We're going to scrap that. It'll be in the same location, but we're going to move them all back to Wednesday and and going to put our capital campaign on hold for a little bit and, and we're going to minister to this family. I don't know what day the funeral will be, but we will get everyone that inf information. We'll put out a one call. We'll make we'll put it out on our Facebook page. We'll make sure you get that information. Uh, but we're going to be there for the Dobbs family this week. So Wednesday night, all of our groups will be on Wednesday night at their normal time. And there's a list of the locations uh, in the, on the table in the entryway. So be at your life group and we'll have a great time at life groups. Growth track starts next Sunday. So I'd love if you haven't signed up yet, uh, if you, if you want to be a part of that, it's our version of a membership class. We invite you. If you've been just one service, you're welcome to sign up. If you've been for 20 years, you're welcome to sign up. But there's a sign up sheet on the information table in the lobby. The ushers are going to come right now, prepare to receive our tithe and offering. We're going to pray over our tithe and offering and pray a dismissal prayer at the same time. Can we do that? Amen. Let's pray together. Jesus, in your name, we thank you for your mighty hand on this service. God, we thank you 
that you didn't leave us comfortless, but you came to us today. Thank you for the comforter being in this room. We wouldn't want to go through tragedy without you. Thank you for being faithful to us, and thank you for being with us. God, I pray you'd bless our tithe and our offering. God, bless everyone who's given online. Bless everyone who's going to bring that today. God, I pray you'd open up a window in heaven, pour out a blessing. There's not room enough to receive it. God, bless your people who are so faithful to you. And watch over us as we go from this place, Lord. And especially we pray one more prayer over the Dobbs family. God, I pray you'd minister to them and that you'd be what they need this week. And we know that you will. And we thank you for it. And we love you for it. And we give you glory. In Jesus' name, everybody said amen. Amen. God bless you as you bring your tithe and offering. And as you bring that, whenever you're done, you can be dismissed. They're going to continue to play. You can stay as long as you want to stay. Thank you for being here. God met us in a special way. God bless you today.